Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will use the linear film tension clamp to demonstrate dynamic mechanical analysis capabilities on the Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. Using the force rebalance transducer, the DHR is a rotational rheometer capable of performing linear dynamic mechanical analysis. The linear film tension clamp can be used to study viscoelastic properties of a solid film or fiber specimen in tension. Typical tests with this configuration include amplitude sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to determine stability, frequency sweeps to determine viscoelastic properties, and temperature ramp or sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. When mounted on the DHR, the linear film tension clamp is used in tandem with the environmental test chamber for temperature control. The kit includes the upper and lower fixtures, alignment steel shim, torque wrench, and calipers. After mounting the fixtures to the DHR, choose the linear tension geometry from the drop-down menu in the TRIOS ribbon and zero the gap. Insert the alignment steel shim into the lower geometry fixture. Using the up and down buttons on the keypad, carefully lower the upper geometry until the steel shim is fully inserted into the anvil. Carefully tighten the screws. Use the TRIO software to read the alignment position through the geometry's calibrations. Once finished, remove the alignment steel shim and perform the axial mapping. You can now use the Move to Alignment Position button in the motor control panel at any time to return the geometry to the alignment position. This guarantees the geometries are always aligned with one another during testing. Measure and enter the sample width and thickness into the appropriate fields under the geometry file. The sample length value is always measured during a test using the gap signal. Simply raise the instrument head, move the upper geometry to the alignment position, and load the sample into the test geometries. The linear tension clamp is now ready for testing. Typical test procedures include axial force control in tension to prevent the sample from buckling during testing, followed by an oscillation step. This oscillation step can include an amplitude sweep to determine the linear viscoelastic region, a frequency sweep for viscoelastic characterization, a time sweep to determine stability, or a temperature ramp or sweep to measure thermal transitions and modulus as a function of temperature. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated the setup and use of the linear tension clamp for performing dynamic mechanical analysis on thin film samples using the Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. For more information on test setup, sample mounting, and other available geometries, please refer to the online TRIO's help. Stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.